the Alcatel Lucent ALE 300 phone is part of the Enterprise series range. It features a 3.5 inch color display with 10 soft keys. This unit has the corded handset, although it's available with a Bluetooth handset as well. The colored cloth grille over the speakerphone can be changed using one of the ALE desk phone customization kits, which includes the grille, the handset insert, and the molding piece at the top of the phone. The speakerphone on the Enterprise series models was designed with 3D symphonic HD audio quality and full duplex audio for simultaneous conversation. These phones sound excellent, even in a conference setting. If we focus on the screen, what we're seeing here may or may not be the way it's programmed for you when you receive it, but this screen can be customized with whatever feature keys you'd like to see. Here at the top of the screen, we have two dynamic soft keys, which means they'll offer different options based on the state of the call or the state of the phone. Since I have no active call at the moment, we can see a blank key on the left and a call forwarding key on the right. I'll get into specific features later in the video. The four additional soft keys on either side of the display are programmable, so users can add speed dials or assign features to these keys. Here on this screen, we have four line keys on the left-hand side, a DND key, and a speed dial key for Kevin on the right. As we work our way down, we see the dial pad that's flanked by six more feature keys. These are the hold key, the transfer key, the conference key, the unhook key, the message key, and the info key. Below the dial pad, we have the smart pad with multiple functions built in. It can be dialed to adjust various levels. For instance, when I'm on hook, you can dial it to adjust the screen brightness. Or when I'm off hook, it can be used to adjust the volume level. Same goes for when you're on speakerphone. Pressing the arrows on the smart pad scrolls vertically through screens. Here we can see the six screens of feature keys that can be programmed, a bunch of speed dials that are in here right now. Or it can scroll horizontally through the various tabs at the top of the screen. Also notice that between the arrows are four more icons. These are the speakerphone key, the mute auto answer key, the back exit key, and the audio hub key. One thing to keep in mind about the mute key is it's also used to turn on and off the hands-free answer mode. That means if the mute key is activated while the phone is idle, which is to say not on an active call, the phone automatically answers any incoming call on the speakerphone. If you don't want that, make sure the key is not illuminated when there is not an active call. In the middle of the smart pad, we have the OK key, which can be used to validate choices when configuring the phone, answering incoming calls, or to turn the backlight on and off. At the bottom of this phone, we can see the QWERTY keyboard, which makes entering text much easier. The keyboard is great for the Dial My Name feature. For example, if I want to call the Kevin demo phone, I can use the keyboard to type in Kevin, pulls it up, can click OK, and that call is completed. To program a speed dial key, you first choose the key you'd like to assign. This key is empty, so if I press and hold, I'm given the option to program a name and a number. I'm going to program this speed dial key to call the main icon number. So I'll name it icon, press name, enter that in, select OK. That's been accepted. Next I'll enter the number. This is an external number, so I need to include a 9. And OK. And that has been accepted. So if I press OK, that change has been accepted, and that number has now been added as a speed dial on the main screen. Thank you for calling Icon Voice Network. We can also be reached at now if you want to edit or delete a key, you can do so starting with the long press of the info key followed by the key you want to edit. The thing to keep in mind is some fixed feature keys can perform multiple functions depending on how long the key is held down. A quick press of the info key pulls up a parameters menu. You can change the skin on the screen and get some more information on the station itself. A long press of the info key, about two seconds, lets a user drill into any of the keys on the phone. So a long press, followed by this key, shows us that that's the transfer key. 
Now, if we do the same thing for one of the programmable keys up here, we see that's a speed dial key to Kevin, extension 2364. Now, if we want to modify or delete a key, we'll start with a long press of the info key, followed by the key we'd like to delete. We choose clear and OK, and that change has been accepted. So back on the main menu, that key is now empty and ready to be reprogrammed. To make a call, I can either make an internal call, which is typically a three or four digit extension, or I can make an external call, which usually means I have to dial a nine to tell the system I'm dialing outside. If I want to make an internal call, I can dial the extension and away I go. I'll dial extension 2363. You can see that the Kevin demo station is alerted. You can hear it off camera also. I'll go ahead and answer that. And you can see that the call is completed. Now to dial an outside line, I need to start by dialing 9 followed by the number I'd like to reach. The call is completed. May dial an extension number at any time. To place a call on hold, I'll first ring the extension off camera here so I have a call to work with. And now from here, we can select the hold key to place the call on hold. We get a graphic here showing that the call to Kevin is now on hold. To pick the call back up, we simply press the soft key next to them, and the call with Kevin is reconnected. Now, if I'd like to put this call on hold and make a second call, I'll select hold, and from here, just dial the number that I'd like to call. Thank you for calling Icon Voice Network. We can also be reached at iconvoicenetwork.com. So I've answered that call off camera, and now we show that the active call is up here in the top left, and Kevin is on hold. If we want to toggle between the two calls, we press the soft key next to the desired party, and it will automatically swap places with the other call. Now we see the external call here is on hold. If we want to swap back to that second call, press the soft key here. And now we're in an active call with that station. If I hang up, it recalls the station that I placed on hold. OK to answer. Now I'll hang up. After I've hung up this station, you can still see that it shows that Kevin is off hook. When I hang up the demo station here that I was using, we can see that it has gone back on hook. If we want to transfer a call, we have two options. We can make a blind transfer, which transfers the call directly. There's no interaction with the person you're transferring the call to. Or there's a supervised transfer, which allows you to speak to the person you're transferring a call before it goes through. That allows you to give them some details on who's calling or what they're calling about. So we'll start by calling the station here in the lab. I answer this call. So if we want to transfer this as a supervised transfer, for instance, we'll hit the transfer key, dial the extension we'd like to transfer to, Hey Kevin, it's Teddy. I just wanted to transfer this call through to you. Followed by the transfer key, and the transfer's been accepted. If we'd like to do a blind transfer and don't want to speak with Kevin or the second party before we send the call through, we would simply press transfer immediately after dialing the number. So for instance, I'll dial this extension.
I'll answer the call. For a blind transfer, we'd hit the transfer key, the extension we'd like to send it to, followed by the transfer key again, and the call has been sent straight away. To demonstrate conferencing two calls, I'm going to first make a call to this station here. We're now on an active call here, so if I want to conference a second number, I select the conference key, followed by the number I'd like to conference. I'll answer that second call off camera here. So now I'm on an active conversation with a second call. If I want to conference the two, I select conference. And you can now see on the screen here, we are in an active conference with Kevin and the outside line. So now I have an active conversation with the Kevin station off camera and the number that I dialed in. You can see the icons at the top of the screen here show I have two active calls. and press the on-hook key to end the conference. To forward a station, first you select the forwarding key, which is this top right-hand key in the corner of the display. For an immediate forward, we select immediate, and now the destination we'd like to send the call to. Followed by OK. And the screen says forward has been accepted. So now if I call this station, which is 2364 from off screen, it doesn't ring, but you can hear the second phone that it has been forwarded to ringing off camera. To cancel forwarding, we select the forward key again, followed by cancel forward. We get a confirmation from the screen there, as well as the icon in the top right is no longer animated. We can also forward to an internal number, select the forward key, immediate, and an extension number. Forward has been accepted. Here we can see the animation in the top right hand corner. So now if I make a call to this station, We can see that the Kevin phone that I'd forwarded the call to is ringing here. I'll answer it off camera. And now you can see that Kevin is in an active call. I'll hang that up. To turn off forwarding, again we select the forwarding key and cancel forward. Let's take a look at managing messages. When we hit our messaging key, we're presented with the menu here that shows us our call history, any instant messages we have, any new voice messages we have, uh, the option to send an instant message, and our configuration. If we want to see our call history, we select calls. At the top, you can see that there are tabs that are listing missed and all calls, which you can tab over and through using the arrows. Missed calls at the station. Scroll down through those if you like. And Press OK to see more details. Use the back arrow to go back one level. We can also check out all of the calls that have come into the station. Now if I'd like to go into my voicemail, I'll go all the way back out here. To access voicemail, I'll select the messaging key. Select voice message. It says that there are no new messages on this phone right now. None in the new tab, but I can tab over and see all messages. If I'd like, I can play that message, select OK and play. I can also erase the message. If there were any new messages, it would give us an indication here of a count on the screen. And press on hook to get back to the main menu. To change the ringtone or the ringing volume level, we use the arrow key in the smart pad to scroll left to the menu. From here we select settings, set, ringing. Here we have the option for selecting different melodies, either for external or for internal calls. Also the option to set a progressive ringtone. 
which starts quietly and progressively gets louder. So I'll select external melody to adjust any of the ringtones for external calls. We can use the arrows to scroll up and down here through all of the different options we have. OK when you find one you like. And that has been accepted. I'll unhook to go back to the main menu. And I'll call the station. We'll be able to hear how it's changed. Now changing the ringing volume is in the same location as the ringtone. We use the smart pad to tab over to menu, select settings, set, ringing, level, and now we can use the smart pad to adjust. Grab what you like, select OK, and that has been accepted. And hit the on hook to get back to the main menu if you'd like. To adjust the screen brightness, you can simply dial in the smart pad until you get the brightness that you like, and hit OK, and it saves it. The first time you set up your mailbox key, you'll be prompted by the phone for your system password. This is a password you can get from your system admin, so I'll press the mailbox key. You are connected to your voice mailbox. You will be asked to enter your personal settings. Please enter your password. Please enter your new password. And now the password you'd like to assign. Your password is 147899. To confirm, press pound. To cancel, press star. Please record your name now. Please speak after the tone and press the pound sign when you have finished. Teddy. To replay your recording, press 1. To re-record, press star. To confirm, press pound. And from this screen, you can choose to listen to your recording or record it again. Recording accepted. And now that the mailbox has been initialized, we can see that there are no voice messages. For more information on Alcatel Lucent Phones and Solutions, contact us or visit our website at iconnetworks.com or iconcloud.com.